first moose here. So in this video, I'm going to show you folks how to get two grams of gold out of less than six ram sticks. Um, now this process involves no chemicals. Uh, it's very quick. Typically it takes about 30 minutes of time. Um, and I can tell right away that there's going to be a lot of people who be like, yeah, no way, that's bull. Well, the first thing I want to ask you is, why are you doing this? Um, are you doing gold recovery from electronics because it's a hobby, because you enjoy it? Are you doing it just for the gold? Um, and how efficient do you want to be? How much, how much do you want on your return? So if, if, you're, if you're telling me that you're doing this just for the gold, um, and you want the, the most amount of gold or value out of what you get, then this little trick is something that anyone who scraps computers, they can do this. Um, it's very easy. Um, and like I said, it takes less than 30 minutes. And you can get a lot more gold per, um, per ram stick, I guess, uh, than traditional methods uh, that you've seen in some of my other videos. Now, typically, um, I think on average it is two to three grams of gold for each pound of ram fingers, which is just this section on the top. Um, and I'm trying to recall if it's another like two grams per pound of ram IC chips. So all these little chips on there, you need one pound of those to get you know, a couple grams of gold. So that, of course, you know, makes you ask, well, how the hell am I going to get two grams of gold out of you know, four, four or six ram sticks? So here's the thing. Ram rarely ever goes bad. Rarely. All right. As long as you're careful with them, you know, so when you're removing them from the computers, um, anything over one gigabyte in size, you sell it on eBay. Then you use that money to buy the gold. It's very quick. It's very easy. You get much more gold back than you would any other method. Um, now, don't get me wrong. There's people out there who are going to be you know, adamant that they're not eBay savvy or um, they get a lot of ram sticks that just aren't worth that much, which is entirely possible. This doesn't work for every ram stick. But if you have anything that's like, you know, one or two gigabytes or more, um, like this one is a four gigabyte RAM stick. Um, these little laptop ones that I have in here are eight gigs. So between these four RAM sticks, I will get two grams of gold. So what I'm going to do is post them on eBay and once they sell, I'm going to go to appmex.com, uh, which is a trusted um, gold supplier, um, and then get my gold that way. So let's take a look. All right, so the next step is going to be to post them on eBay, which I've put out several videos uh, before on it. It's, it's quite easy. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. So I've got my photos up. I've already entered in what kind of RAM stick it was. Uh, oftentimes eBay will pre-populate information in for you, like I did here. All right, and I'm going to go for fixed price. Buy it now. All right, and list the item. And I got the other ones here saved up. All right, so I'll just complete those up and then wait for them to sell and then I'll order my gold. Alright, so those four sticks sold for $112 total. So right here, I see I can get a 2 gram gold bar, Austrian Mint, for $102.46. So I'm going to 
Oops. Add one. Right to check out. All right, so there it is. I've got uh, this order conf confirmation of my two grams of gold. Um, so I know my, my total price is going to be one fifteen eighty eight. Uh, that's with shipping and all that stuff. And I know. A lot of people are going to say, well, that's over spot price. Um, you know, gold is not, you know, two grams of gold is worth a little bit less than that. Right. But the point being that I can get a whole bunch more gold from a bunch of ram sticks by selling them and buying the gold than I can from recovery. And I'm saving myself from having to use acids. Uh, the time that's involved in that, it takes a lot of time to recover the gold from ram sticks as opposed to, you know, 15 minutes of posting them on eBay, another 15 minutes of shipping them, and then being done with it. Um, so that's going to be one of the big um, complaints I think I'm going to get with this video. But regardless, it's a way for people who are doing this to, um, you know, make money, whether they're stacking gold. Uh, silver, I mean, you could you know, buy silver, do whatever you want with this money. The point is, is that you're getting a much higher value for your scrap than you would if you were just breaking it down in pieces, then you know, incinerating the ICs, throwing the, the trim fingers into uh, acid peroxide. I mean, it's it just makes more sense to do it this way if you can. Now, again, not all ram sticks have much value. A lot of them, um, <clears throat> you know, especially computers that people are scrapping. They're going to have, you know, like half a meg RAM sticks or less or, or one gigabyte, which really aren't worth that much. Um, but they're going to have the, the older stuff, which doesn't quite have a lot of value. I mean, the value is still probably higher than the gold content, um, assuming they still work. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. So I think that's it. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens when the... Uh, the gold comes in. We'll check back later. All right, scrappers. So there it is. Hopefully we can get the, the writing on this. Uh, so this is the two grams of gold in the form of a tiny bar. Um, it looks kind of big in my hand. But it's really thin. But regardless, it is two grams of gold from very little... <coughs> Um, very little computer components, um, and there were I didn't have to use any acids. I didn't have to wait hardly any any time at all. Um, well, I take that back. I didn't have to work at it for too long. So this is a was it? Uh, it's from Austria. Well, I use Atmex, which is um, American Precious Metals Exchange. And it comes with everything on there. Two grams, 999.9. .9. There's the back of it. It's so shiny. In the front. So there it is. There's my, uh, my cheesy video on uh, gold recovery, or getting gold from you know, ram sticks without having to use any chemicals. So yeah, it's it's not what any of you guys expected, but in the long run, um, it's actually the way to get the most gold from it. Um, but it's not the only method that that you can use or that you'll be able to use, really, because there's going to be a lot of ram sticks, a lot of stuff that's too outdated to sell, too just not worth it. So keep that in mind. So for all the good stuff, make sure you put it aside because you can get a lot more gold for it than uh, just trying to recover it yourself. So that's it. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell, share, do all that social media jazz. And uh, make sure that if you want to enter into um, 
my uh, 100,000 subscriber giveaway contest, where stuff like this will be given away. Hint, hint. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, so December 31st. Um, so that's almost two years. You guys help me out get there. All you got to do is subscribe to the channels that I have in the link. And then on the 31st of December, if I reach 100,000 subscribers, I will randomly choose anywhere. I haven't quite decided yet, but probably five to ten people who are, and I will check, who are subscribed to all of those channels. And I will be raffling out prizes from gold, silver, copper ingots I'm going to be making this summer. Um, yeah, and you've got to see this. I just got... Uh, I just got some molds today. <laughs> they are freaking perfect. And they were cheap too on eBay. Uh, so I'm going to have another video on that coming. So that's it. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.